Hello friends, welcome to my channel Industrial Lubricant Solution by Anurag Romola. Today we are going to discuss the water importance in emulsion or water based metal working fluid. So let as we all know water is the major ingredient in a water soluble metal working fluid mix. It may amount to as much as 9-99% of the mix as used. Therefore, its importance in product performance cannot be ignored. Corrosion, residue, scum, rancidity, foam, excess, concentrate usage or almost any metal working fluid performance problem can be caused by the quality of water used in the making the mix. Untreated water always contains impurities. Even rain water is not pure. Some impurities have no apparent effect on a metal working fluid. Others may affect it drastically. By reacting or combining with metal working fluid ingredients, impurities can change performance characteristic. Therefore, water treatment is sometimes necessary to obtain the full benefit of water soluble metal working fluids. Water quality Water quality varies with the source. It may or may not contain dissolved minerals, dissolved gases, organic matter, microorganism, or combination of these impurities that cause deterioration of metal working fluid performance. The amount of dissolved minerals, for example, in lake or river water depends on whether the source is near mineral. Typically, lake water is of a consistent quality while river water varies with the weather condition. Ground water or we can say bore water, since it seeps through minerals in the earth, tends to contain more dissolved minerals than either lake or river water. Kindly note, the bore water is generally having a more hardness and chloride as compared to the river water. Surface water, however, however, is likely to contain a higher number of microorganisms and thus need treatment like bacteria and mold. Some metal working plants use well water and have detailed information on its composition. Most, however, use water supplied by municipal corporation water works, which maintains daily or weekly analysis of the water. Now, coming to the total hardness component. To estimate the effect of water on a metal working fluid mix, Measurement of the following provides the sufficient data in most cases. Total hardness as calcium carbonate, alkinity as calcium carbonate, alkinity M as a calcium carbonate, chlorides, phosphate, sulfate, pH are other major components which affect the total hardness. Total hardness of the water analysis is total hardness as per the greatest effect on the metal working fluid mix. Hardness comes from dissolved mineral, usually calcium and magnesium ions reported in parts per million and expressed as an equivalent amount of calcium carbonate. The ideal hardness of water for making a metal working fluid mix ranges from 15 to 125 ppm. The term soft is used for water if it has a total hardness of less than 100 ppm or term hard if it has total hardness at 6 to 100 ppm. Soft water and foam issue. Too much soft water can result into the foaming. So foaming arises if you are using too much soft water. For the semi-synthetic products, typically the foaming is more as compared to the mineral based oils. Defoamers are the agents which can be added to the emulsion if too much foaming arises. Even in some companies people used to people used to use little bit hard water, you can say the corporation water for the first fill and demineralized water can be added for top off. The foam causes problem when it overflows the reservoir, the machine, the return trenches attracts up. Sharp turns or drops in fluid flow, high pressure, nozzle mark and sniffer metrics could be also responsible for the foaming. Hard water when combined with some water soluble metal will so promote the formation of insoluble soap. The dissolved minerals in the water combined with the ionic emulsifier in the metal working fluid concentrate to form this insoluble compounds that appear as a scum in the mix. Such scum causes the sides of the reservoir, clogs the pipe and filters, covers machines with a sticky residue and may cause sticking gauges. Because soluble oil typically has the least Hard water stability, hard water has a more obviously detrimental effect on them. Separation of the mix is apparent in the severe cases and is characterized by an all layer rising to the top of fresh mix. Semi synthetic and synthetic metal working fluids may not be visibly affected by the water hardness. Some are formulated with good hard water tolerance. However, however dissolved mineral reacts with the ingredients other than emulsifier. In this reaction, the metal working fluid ingredients change or are tied up and consequently 
the product never attains peak performance. Dissolved mineral content increases in metal vacuum fluid mixed with you. After 30 day period, the amount of the mix can increase 3 to 5 times the original amount. In case we are using the water with the chloride 25 ppm, in the water may evaporate but it will leave the mineral behind and after 2 or 3 months the chloride content may increase on that water and it can cause many problems like itching or rusting. Water treatment. So water softening and demineralization are the two treatment which is used for treating the hard water as mentioned below these are the process for treating the water even the many companies are nowadays are installing water softening unit in their plant and using the good water pH and alkalinity. pH is an expression that is used that indicates whether a substance is acidic, neutral or alkaline. A pH of 7 is neutral between 0 and 7 is acidic while 7 to 14 is alkaline. Water in the United States normally varies from 6.4 to 8.9 in pH depending on the area and source of water. The buffering ability of metal working fluid is far greater than that of any clean water supply. pH adjustment to the water are rarely needed. Alkalinity. Two kinds of alkalinity exist in the water, the p-alkalinity and n-alkalinity. The p-alkalinity is the measure of the carbonate ion content and is expressed in the ppm calculated as calcium carbonate. This is sometimes referred to as permanent alkalinity and as such is not changed by boiling as in the case of m-alkalinity. M-alkalinity is the measure of both the carbonate ion content and the bicarbonate ion content. This value is also expressed in ppm calculated as calcium carbonate. It is referred to a total alkalinity and temporary alkalinity. This is because its value can be lower to that of p-alkalinity by boiling. Metal working fluids typically perform best when the pH is between 8.8 .8 and 9.5. They require certain amount of alkalinity for good cleaning action and corrosion and acidity control. If pH and total alkalinity become too high, however, pitting and staining of non ferrous metals may occur. Skin irritation is another possible problem. Currently, there are, appears to be no satisfactory treatment for all alkaline water, so careful product selection is critical. Chloride sulfate and phosphate. These are other minerals dissolved in the water which plays an important role. As mentioned below, their effect in the emulsion can be seen like sulfur can promote the growth of bacteria and as discussed the excess of the chloride is not at all good for emulsion it can cause rusting to the ferrous material itching is the another problem same is the phosphate it contributes to a total alkalinity and stimulate the bacterial growth Later in table we can see the effect of all this in choice of water treatment. The water can be treated as per the requirement of water in emulsion. As discussed earlier, the two way of water treatment. We have shown in our slide. Reverse Osomi is, is another advanced technology for treating the water. Softening of hard water and image thus come that forms in some metal working fluid mixes but increase the possibility of rust problems. Many of customers treat poor quality water before using it in metal working fluid mix. But the customers who uses the good quality of water report that good quality of water has limited several problems that seems to occur no matter what metal working fluid he used. 
such customer concludes that the benefit of using demineralized water are well worth the investment also they get water of consistent quality which eliminates one major variable when looking for the source of any metal looking fluid performance problem using the good quality of water not only enhance the emulsion life but it also reduces the bacterial growth in the emulsion which helps in keeping the machine clean the foul smells are eliminated rusting issues are minimum so it's very important to use the good quality of water in water based metal working fit these are some important notes one should always check while making the emulsion water hardness and chlorine are two important parameter for emulsion life operator hand contact with any emulsion should be minimum If too much chloride salt get accumulated in emulsion, the fractometer will show bloody image. As discussed earlier, this is a trouble shooting chart. Here you can see the impurities like calcium, magnesium, sodium, in the presence of sulfate, carbonate, bicarbonate, and their effect and the problem arise. by looking in the problem you can find out what would be the impurities and how can it be treated this all impurities are present in the water and from water it get into the emulsion emulsion ph should be checked regularly chloride it affect is to promote the corrosion problem arises i mentioned here and also discuss earlier sulfate phosphate again you can see their effect and their problem arises from this finally thank you for watching my channel and liking it as i said earlier spread knowledge of whatever you have taking it with you in other word will not help you there bury your ego but not your knowledge thanks a lot